Hi, uh, Rick Sorkin. Harvey Specter, nice to meet you. Should you have a seat here? Whoa, what's this? How the hell did you know they were the police? I read this novel in elementary school. Um, cops are staking out a hotel. One of them dresses as a bellhop, the other is a man in a suit. And it was the exact same thing. You read a novel in elementary school? What? I like to read. And why'd you ask them what time it was? I throw them off. I mean, what kind of drug dealer asks a cop what time it is when he's got a briefcase full of pot, right? We should hire you. Jesus, I'd give you the 25 grand as a signing bonus. I'll take it. Unfortunately, we only hire from Harvard. And you not only did not go to Harvard Law School, you haven't even gone to any law school. What if I told you that I consume knowledge like no one you've ever met and I've actually passed the bar? I'd say you're full of crap. That's a Barbary legal handbook right there, right? Open it up, read me something, anything. Civil liability associated with agency is based on several factors, including, including the deviation of the agent from his path, the reasonable inference of agency on behalf of the plaintiff, and the nature of the damages themselves. How did you know that? I learned it when I studied for the bar. OK, Hotshot. Fire up this laptop. I'm going to show you what a Harvard attorney can do. Pick a topic. Stock option backdating. Although backdating options is legal, violations arise related to disclosures under IRC section 409A. You forgot about Sarbanes-Oxley. The statute of limitations renders Sarbanes-Oxley moot post-2007. Well, not if you can find actions to cover up the violation as established in the Sixth Circuit, May 2008. It's impressive, but you're sitting at a computer. Playing hearts. Sorry, if you want to beat me, you're going to have to do it as something else. How can you know all that? I told you, I like to read. And once I read something, I understand it. And once I understand it, I never forget it. Why take the bar? This dickhead bet me I couldn't pass it without going to law school. OK, look, this is all pretty fascinating stuff, but I'm afraid I got to get back to work. I'll make sure that Serpico isn't around waiting for you. this job so much. Why don't you just go to law school? When I was in college, it was my dream to be a lawyer. I needed some money. And Trevor convinced me to memorize this math test and sell it. <laughs> Turns out we sold it to the dean's daughter. I lost my scholarship. I got kicked out of school. I, <sighs> I got knocked into a different life. And I have been wishing for a way back ever since. Let me tell you something. This is an elementary school. This is hard work, long hours, high pressure. I need a grown goddamn man. You give me this, and I will work as hard as it takes to school those Harvard douches and become the best lawyer you have ever seen. I'm inclined to give you a shot, but what if I decide to go another way? I say that's fair. And sometimes I like to hang out with people who aren't that bright. You know, just to see how the other half lives. Move over. I'm emailing the firm I just found our next associate. <laughs> All, right. All right. You're gonna start a week from Monday. Here's what you're gonna do. First, no more pot. We drug test. Stop smoking now, you'll be fine. I assume that's all the drugs you do. How do you know that? You read books, I read people. Potheads smoke pot, that's what they do. It's not all I do, I have interests. You're Albert friggin' Einstein and you couldn't manage to get into law school, you think that's not from smoking weed? Trevor got... That's another thing, you're never gonna talk to Trevor again. You're gonna dish that briefcase and you're gonna get on a plane to Harvard and you're gonna learn everything there is about going to law school there. Did you buy that suit? Yeah, let's buy some new ones. Thank you.